Hey guys, this is Kaizen here, and today I'm going to show you a very easy way to make a working bath in Minecraft. So you can see here, this is the bath behind me, this is what it will look like. And if we hit this button right here, it will fill with water, and pretty quickly at that. So then you can go in, you can, you know, have your bath, wash yourself up, and when you're done, of course you want to drain all that water at the end, you simply hit the button again, and all of the water goes away. If we jump underneath here, you'll see the redstone circuit. It is pretty simple and straightforward. I'm now going to get into showing you how to build this block by block. Okay, so before we start, I'm just going to quickly show you the materials list here on screen. As you can see, it doesn't require too much to build this. You can pause it now if you want a better look. Uh, but once you've got that all together, you just need a 5x5 five five area where you're going to build this. So we start with a block of quartz in the corner, and then around the outside here, we're going to place our stairs. Now, these can be actually any blocks that hold water in place. Uh, I just like the look of the quartz and stairs there as a bath-looking thing. The only thing to say is this block right here, you do need to place a button on top of it, so uh, it couldn't be a stair for that reason. Uh, once you've done that, you can then dig out an area underneath. Of course, I'm on a Creative Worlds so that's basically already done for me. Uh, but this is when you're going to start placing in your dispensers. So if we build up a little bit here, uh, we can now place a dispenser like this. And so it's going to go one block down from the rim. And you need nine of those in total. So we're going to place them all around here like this. And this is, of course, where our water gets dispensed from and then picked back up. The next stage is to come underneath your dispensers, place a block down in the middle by two like this. And then you want to build off on four directions, so one, two, three, and four, and then get rid of those two middle blocks. So you have something that looks like this. And now you want to place your redstone torches, and you'll hear clicking as you place them as they fire these dispensers, which is why we don't put the water in until the very end, otherwise you may mess up the design. But basically at this stage, you'll now have something that looks like this. So the next bit is to get the circuit set up that will turn the dispensers on and off, essentially. Uh, so what we're going to do is get a block here like this, uh, diagonally down one from the block that has the uh, torches on. So it will look a little something like this. Now this is where you're going to run your power into the block to power them and change the on-off state of the torches and thus triggering the dispensers. So this is how this is going to have to work. You're going to have to run the dust going into them like this. And then once you've got this in place, what we need to do is connect the circuit up so that it all fires at the same time. Uh, so these two here can connect up. So basically this is the front here, this is the button. Those two there can connect up, and also these two here can connect up as well. So place blocks here, like this. There we go. And just run that around like that. So you have to go a slight long way around because it does need to be powered into this block, which is why I'm doing it in this way. So now you have something that looks a little bit like this. And the next thing we want to do is, uh, if this was already here, uh, the base I had, place a block under there and then get rid of that there. And we're going to run redstone down like this to get it to this circuit. So we get rid of those two. Place some redstone dust going down here like this. So from this button, if we hit this button, you'll see there that powers that down. And that's how we get uh, our redstone signal down here. Then we're simply going to run it off here like this into this circuit. I'm going to place a repeater down in here. Uh, and also we're going to then come back here and connect it up this way as well. And you'll notice here that this is connected up, which we don't want. So we place a block on top of there to prevent that. So this is how the circuit is going to look. Just quickly have a little run past it for you so you can uh, copy that design. It's not too bad. It should be reasonably straightforward to copy. Uh, and the final thing that we're going to do is to put our water inside the uh, dispensers so that we can make our bath. Uh, so let's get a load of these ready to go. Place one inside each one of these. And that is then going to be the finished machine. So pretty, as I say, pretty simple, doesn't take long to build, but a nice little feature for your house. So at this stage, we hit the button, little click, and the bath completely fills. And then when we're done, we hit the button again. Again, a little delay, and it completely goes again and unfills. So that's it, guys. It really is that simple. I'm not going to get into the decorations you might want to do around the bath, because that's really up to you and would make this video longer. Essentially, I just wanted to quickly show you how you can actually make this bath in your Minecraft world if you so want. So guys, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please do subscribe and like. It is greatly appreciated. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.